DMG for a really long time. And I apologize, because obviously you've missed a lot. So, DMG's up and running. I've got a lot of work put into it. Um, I mean, all new suspension, completely reworked fuel system, new fuel tank, new pump. Um, I think you were with me when we did the pump. But um, all new bushings, uh, brakes have been completely redone, which I think you were there for part of that. Uh, but as you can tell, the car is driving, and it's actually driving pretty good. Uh, there are some minor issues where I've got to uh, need to adjust the valves again. Um, that was something that we had done in the past, and it made a massive difference with the car. But um, for the most part, uh, it's driving pretty good. Uh, the exhaust rattles a little bit, but I did a little bit of research, and it looks like that's a pretty common problem with the Taurus Trophy exhaust, where it hits one of the bolts on the uh, leaf spring um, mounts, so it kind of whacks into it on the left. I'll take a look at that when I get back home. But right now, I'm just going to kind of go for a quick cruise. Uh, I wanted to take you along with me, just so you could, uh, you know, experience the MG um, in its functioning order. But um, you have to bear with me for the uh, for stick driving because I don't I'm not typically driving stick. But uh, I went out yesterday for a pretty good cruise and had a good time there. But uh, I feel like I've gotten a lot better. I'm not so. Um, messed up with the gear changes, uh, the clutch pedal, I'm getting familiar with that, and how far to push it to engage properly, uh, but um, yeah, so here we are, MG Badger on the road, and uh, it's great, it's pretty much everything I was hoping it would be, um, very noisy, <laughs> I wasn't necessarily hoping for it to be noisy, but it is noisy, and I think that's just a lot to do with... Um, it's that Taurus Trophy exhaust for one thing. But we're going to go for a cruise down a nice road here. Um, that's another thing we got fixed. Uh, 
but yes, it is a uh, blast of a little car to drive. I'm gonna turn around up here. Let's see, I think I can probably manage this. I started working on the car. I didn't necessarily um, like do any video shooting. Here we go. Tunnel again. Woo! Grinding that here. I didn't press the clutch in enough. Sorry about that. Woo! That was pretty terrifying. Maybe I'll cut that out. <laughs> One thing I gotta get used to is press that clutch in all the way. I feel like I might have some air in the lines. Uh, Cause I have to press the clutch in really far and at that time I kind of just halfway press it in. So I need to get that cleared out of there. But hey, <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's gonna happen when you're learning how to drive uh, the uh, stick shift. So, but I said, I feel like I'm doing okay. I feel like I'm doing okay. Get out of the way, squirrel. Seriously, squirrel, same spot. Right into the turn. Uh, it feels a little different. It 
it was sitting pretty much square in the middle of the car, but um, yeah. So that's pretty much it. But I'm back home, and uh, thanks for coming with me. Sorry I missed so many videos, but I did want to show that the MG is up and running. Um, and uh, she's a lot of fun. <laughs>